speaking. Hello, Pinky. This is General Flight of the Intergalactic Space Patrol. Who is it, Pinky? It's General Flight of the Intergalactic Space Patrol. What does he want with us? Stop interrupting and I'll find out. What can we do for you, General? Can you both come to my office right away? We need your help badly. We'll be there immediately. Good. Here we are, General. At your service. Thank you for coming so quickly. Uh, please sit down and I'll explain the situation. You've heard of the mad physicist known as the Menace. Yes, General, we have. Well, our allies, the Martians, have told us that he escaped as they were putting him aboard the spaceship to Earth, where he was to be tried for treason. Well, our friends in space must be terrified with him on the loose. The terrible thing is that he escaped with our research spaceship, which was carrying one of our top secret inventions and our best astrophysicist, Lieutenant Pushbutton. But how can we help, General? We have sent for you because the menace knows all our agents. And everyone we have sent to catch him so far has disappeared under mysterious circumstances. This is very serious. Oh, I see what you mean. The menace would never suspect us to. That's just the job for us, General. We must get that secret device back. It must not fall into his hands. Otherwise, with this, he could rule the galaxy. Can you imagine that? The menace ruling the galaxy. He won't while we're around. No, sir. Let's go and get the menace. Good for you, Pinky and Perky. Your spaceship, the Stardust, is all ready to go. This way, gentlemen. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, here is your spaceship, and this is your astral navigator, Lieutenant Leapfrog. Good morning, General, sir. Hi, Pinky and Perky. Hi, Lieutenant Leapfrog. Well, I must leave you now, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Thank you, General. See you soon. Strap yourselves in, boys. It's nearly time to blast off. Okay, Lieutenant Leapfrog. Ooh, ooh. Ready for checkout, Pinky and Perky? All ready, Lieutenant Leapfrog. Central control here. We're ready for checkout. Stop now. Check out. Ooh, ooh. Gravity control, okay? Gravity control, okay. Ooh, ooh. Stabilizers set at zero. Stabilizers set at zero. Automatic pilot, okay? Automatic pilot, okay. Boo, boo. Refrigeration unit, okay? Refrigeration unit, okay. Right. Boo, boo. Over to you, control, for countdown. Control taking over for countdown. Here we go. From now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. what it's like in outer space. Yes, you can relax now, boys. Gosh, Perky, look out there. Have you ever seen anything like it? Wow, no, never. Is that the Earth down there? Yes, just like a big blue ball. The books were right. Look, Lieutenant Leapfrog, there's the moon. It doesn't look a bit like cheese to me. No, it's a bit of a disappointment, isn't it, Perky? Anyway, we'll be seeing it at close quarters soon. Oh, oh, get ready to land. We'll be going down any minute, so strap yourselves in. We're all ready, Lieutenant. Stand by for landing procedure. Oh, oh, counting from five for retro rockets. Here we go. Five, oh, four, oh, three, oh, two, oh, one, oh, fire. Fire 
breaking rockets. Fire breaking rockets. Well done, Lieutenant Leapfrog. I couldn't have done better myself. Boom. Now, Luna City is just over the rim of that crater you can see on the video screen. You go and open the airlock and take our equipment outside. Boom. Boom. I will stay here for a while as I have to check the oxygen recycling equipment, restabilize the high-frequency oscillograms and fill up the gill pinks. What did he say, Perky? He says he has to check the oxygen recycling equipment, restabilize the high-frequency oscillograms, and fill up the gill pinks. I thought that's what he said. After you, Pinky. <laughs> no, 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 after you, Perky. This is no time to play at being gentlemen and come out together with your hands up. Unless, of course, you would like to be personally disintegrated with my ultrasonic ray gun. <laughs> It's the man, 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 no, no, it's not the man, 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 man in the moon. I think this must be the man, man, manners. At your service. <laughs> this way, gentlemen. You are my prisoners. I have something rather special prepared for you. It'll kill you. <laughs> I think that's everything. I'll go and join Pinky and Perky outside. That's funny. Um, they're not here. What's this? Handfuls of moonbeams. There are three lots of footprints. That can only mean one thing. They've been captured by the menace. This will do nicely, my interfering little friends. Right here. This is where you will stay forever and a day. <laughs> Maybe longer. <laughs> yeah. But it's an enormous hole in the ground. And the sides are so steep. And it's so dark. You're not going to put us in there, are you, Mr. Menace? Put you in there? Good heavens, no. I'm pushing you in. <laughs> <laughs> that. Now, to continue a little more gentle persuasion on Lieutenant Pushbutton, I must know where the secret device is hidden. I don't like it down here. It's too dark. Me neither. Help! Oh, Help! Oh, oh. Where can they be? Their footprints stop here at this crater. I think maybe the menace has put them in here. Oh, but I'd better leap down and investigate. Good heavens, here you are. Now, don't worry, I'll soon have you out of here. The menace didn't bargain on leaping Leapfrog, obviously. Jump aboard. We're ready, Lieutenant Leapfrog. Hang on, then. Well, here we are, all safe and sound. Now for the menace. <laughs> Lieutenant Pushbutton, I have tried talking reasonably to you, and I must say that so far my persuasive methods have been most gentle. But if you persist in this irritating silence, which is most unsociable of you, I will have to resort to less civilized methods. In fact, I might lose my temper, and when I lose my temper, I lose my temper! In fact, my patience might even become exhausted. 
And then it will be the worse for you. I'm terribly sorry, old boy, but I'm afraid I've been sworn to secrecy, so I can't tell you anything. If you won't tell me, I will just have to dismantle your spaceship until I find what I want. I think I might even dismantle you, too. <laughs> Limb by limb. How uncivilized. Yes, I am a little uncivilized when I don't get my own way. Not getting your own way can be very annoying. Very frustrating, too. And you see, deep inside, I'm really quite nice when you get to know me. It's just that I'm so terribly misunderstood. Really? Tell me more. All right, I will. I'm the menace. They fear me everywhere. But someday I'll rule the galaxy. The Space Patrol is always on my tail. They try to catch me, but they always fail. Ha <laughs> I am a menace to them all. I'm the menace. You'll find me everywhere. No one is nastier than me. With two ray guns, the devil by my side. Through blackest space, I proudly ride. <laughs> I am the menace to them all. <laughs> Go quietly now. There's the menace, and he's got Lieutenant Push Button. Right. You sneak around to the right, Lieutenant Leapfrog. I'll take his left, and Perky, you take him from the middle. It's a good thing that he's not got his ultrasonic ray gun on him. Let's jump him when I switch out the lights. Now! Him? No, I've got him. That's funny. Mm. I've got him too. I say, chaps, we can't all have him. Well, incidentally, someone's got rather a tight grip on me. Just a minute. I'll switch the light on. There you are. That's better. Oh, dear. Pinky, you got hold of me. And you got hold of me. And Lieutenant Leapfrog has got hold of Lieutenant Pushbutton. Yes, but who's got the menace? I think he's got away. Look at the video screen. He's stolen our spaceship, the Stardust. Oh, dear, so he has. But the important thing is that we still have the secret device, the research spaceship, and, of course, you, Lieutenant Pushbutton. I do hate to hurry you, gentlemen, uh, but if we don't take off soon, uh, the Earth will be in an unfavourable orbital position and we'll be stuck on this unpleasant place for a month. Yes, we must hurry. I hope the menace didn't damage the ship when he stole it. We've got no central control to help us here. I'll turn on the astral radio anyway to try to contact them and warn them that the menace has escaped once again. This is the menace speaking. The curse is on you, Pinky and Perky. And you, Lieutenant Leapfrog. And this time you have won. But I shall return and next time we meet... I will have the upper hand. <laughs> we will meet again. <laughs> oh, switch him off, Perky. And let's get back to Earth. Mm, mm. Okay, let's get back. All systems go. Counting down now. Five, mm, four, mm, three, mm, two, mm, one, mm, zero. Behind us, 